My name is Dr. George Bruder. I'm at Stony Brook University. I'm chair of endodontics and director of the advanced education program in endodontics. Today I'd like to discuss working length with you. When speaking of working length, we have to consider some classic papers. One, Yuri Cutler, 1955. Yuri Cutler very eloquently described the difference between the apical constriction and the apical foramen. The apical foramen is what you most commonly have experienced when you look at a radiograph and you try to determine whether or not your file is at the right length. However, through his research we found that the apical constriction, which is also the CDJ, is the area in which we want to instrument to and operate to for our optimal results. However, we have to remember that the only way we can determine our CDJ's position is truly histologically. But research has shown that using an apex locator, we can actually use an apex locator with 96% accuracy. When we look at the working length, looking at films, we have to remember that it's actually a two-dimensional image while we're trying to determine a three-dimensional point of reference. Even if we have a good reference point, such as a cuss tip, modified cut down for reproducibility, we have to remember that that actual working length may appear on a two-dimensional radiograph to be accurate, but if we were to examine that root end, you may see the end of the file sticking through the root. The reason for this is the portal of exit does not always come out at the exact endpoint of the root. That's why it's important for us to implement the use of things like an apex locator. We also have to remember if our file does go past that reference point, we don't want to just pull it back inside the tooth. We want to very slowly turn it counterclockwise because the flutes are engaging in the clockwise rotation. So a very gentle motion in a counterclockwise rotation will advance the file back into the canal so that we can obtain an accurate working length. That brings me to our next point. When determining your working length, you want to remember that Iberola told us that the best time to determine your working length is after getting rid of your dentin triangle in the coronal segment. This is because before doing that, you have a curve coronally and apically. And upon removal of that dentin triangle, you actually have a canal that's shorter than your initial estimate. Thank you. This is George Brewer for Chair Time.